Hey, what's up guys? So, this is a video where I just wanted to go through a bit more of the, uh, the pictures that I took and maybe if, give you guys a few stories about them because, uh, with the PaydaCon video, I wanted to keep it relatively short and simple and mainly just get out the big announcement, pretty much the only thing to take note of from the, uh, whole event, which was, you know, the Australian heister Sydney. But, uh, yeah, I did take a lot of pictures and, uh, I also have a few stories I wanted to share with you guys, so if you're down for that, stick around and, uh, you'll get to hear me ramble. Right now, all I'm doing is just browsing through the uh, Imager album that I had uploaded of all my photos, and uh, I'm just going to be going through them and recalling some of the events. And uh, I'll I'll put a little display on the screen for which particular picture I'm talking about when I talk about something, so yeah. I mean, from the first part, if you already looked at all these pictures, you can tell that uh, I actually spent quite a bit of time downtown. You know, we went to the docks with my friend uh, Soze. And we took a lot of pictures because we arrived a day early to the event, so we had a lot of time to kill. But we didn't want to arrive on the day of the event and, you know, make it late or have the flight be delayed or something and we couldn't make it, so... We definitely wanted to go there early. And I was actually quite glad. Seattle is a very beautiful place. Uh, you can see some of the pictures I took, you know, with the sunset and uh, the nice lights and everything. It's a, it's a pretty cool place. Uh, I do dig it, and I definitely... One thing I do like a lot is this uh, Ferris wheel picture that I took with the city in the background. It's a very nice picture. But yeah, you guys can just uh, go ahead and look through this on your own. I'll just show a, a little bit. But uh, yeah, the city was very nice. A uh, very fun place to walk around. Much cleaner than, say, San Francisco or LA, so uh, that's a nice plus for me. Anyway, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Gum wall. Docks again. So, on the day of the event, uh, we actually had nothing to do. Like, the event started at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And for us, you know, since we were there the day before, we had basically the entire morning and part of the afternoon to ourselves just to kill time. So we thought we'd walk around, we headed back down to the docks. And funny enough, we actually went to the venue early, you know, the Baltic Room. We went there at about 10, 11, because we were bored. I think it might have been, may have been even a little earlier, but uh, I don't really remember at this point. And, like, you know, thinking, we're going to be the only ones there. It's super early, no one's going to be there, and, well, we walk around, and we see that there are already people waiting outside. I was like, god damn, that is some dedication. So, there were some people that were really dedicated to this event, more so than us. And for us, <laughs> it was a little awkward, because we were like, well, there's people there, and... You know, it's only like 11, we would have to wait a good 3, 4, 5 hours, maybe, sitting there. So, let's actually not do that. And then we went around and uh, walked around the city more. So, <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, I just wanted to share that. Alright, here we go. Uh, the pictures where we're with Almir in our cosplay, that was when we arrived uh, at 2 o'clock-ish. You know, we went an hour early. I actually went ahead and emailed Almir and asked him, you know, what time are you guys gonna be there? Because, you know, we we're, were here early and we're just gonna be waiting around. So he's like, oh yeah, we'll be there at like 2-ish. So we, we came at 2, and it uh, turns out they were setting up stuff inside. And one of the best moments by far was when we revealed to him our cosplay. I mean, it's the stupidest, yet simplest and creative cosplay out there because it was just like, alright, Almir was walking around, and uh, he was uh, greeting people in the line, because the line was actually quite long, so it, uh, it snaked around the corner of the block. And he was greeting people one by one, and all this, all that. And then when he finally came to us, we were so giddy, me and Soze were so giddy to show him our cosplay. We lifted up our shirts, we showed him, look at this! And he's just like, oh my god, what have you guys done? <laughs> and then we told him we even have glasses and a beard and we put those on we took a picture with them and he's like this is my favorite cosplay that just felt so special inside we just felt so special inside because that that was glorious that was the build-up we had planned this entire time for this trip all right so in the venue i mean pretty much uh, it was standard uh, it's a standard nightclub got two bars one on the bottom floor one on the top floor uh for this event the top floor was the one serving alcoholic drinks so only people uh, of age could go up there. You know, they were giving out a whole bunch of masks, stuff like that. And, ooh, here, tacos. They had tacos everywhere. Oh my god, tacos. 
We actually didn't get any tacos because they, they went by really fast, as you can see. Uh, actually, this picture right here with the, uh, the tacos overlooking the bar, that's actually all they had. So once they were gone, they were just gone. And, uh, yeah, when we were there, it was pretty standard. It was actually, uh, a lot of people came, so, you know, in the first, in the first, like, hour of the event, it was packed. You could barely move. And, of course, uh, what we're looking at is some nice cosplay. Oh, yeah, here is the, uh, the, what would you call this? The developer's panel. And, uh, they were just talking about stuff, bit of Q&A, stuff like that. And, uh, I think one of my favorite things, remembering back, was, uh, when they introduced the voice actors and the models. You know, they came down from the, uh, top bar and they were just looking all fancy-ass and everything. I mean, Eric looks glorious. <laughs> and then you can see, uh, Ilya coming down as well, big smile on his face. So, yeah, their introduction was, uh, pretty awesome. You know, it's like, yes, they're actually there, we get to talk to them later. And then, uh, yeah, there's, uh whole lot of stuff going on. I mean, basically, a lot of uh, signing and stuff. And uh, here is a picture of the shot glass that they were given out. Uh, they were given out a whole bunch of different stuff, but uh, shot glass was one of the things I actually did not end up getting. They had a very few amount. Uh, I don't really drink, but still would have been nice to uh, get one. Ooh, I don't know if this picture is actually the moment this happened, but one of the funniest things that happened when uh, the devs were doing their panel was... I forgot, someone asked a question about future heisters or something or related, and, you know, the be the devs basically just dropped a bomb on us saying, Oh, we actually got news for you. We're actually going to have an Australian heister named Sydney, and she's going to be played by Georgia Van Cullenberg? I, 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 I forgot her last name, but it's going to be played by the voice actress Georgia, and it turns out, uh... You know, she gave a little introduction, she has a little bit of experience in the voice acting industry for video games already. I think one of the things she said she played for, or she did a voice role, was for Vanille in Final Fantasy or something. But her introduction was so weird, I mean, she's announcing this to, you know, a group of people in the audience that are mostly comprised of teenagers, right? And the way she decided to introduce herself was, Oh yeah, I did, like, battle cries and, like, pain sounds from Final Fantasy. Like, ah! 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 And I was just sitting there like, Okay, uh, that's a little awkward. I got a little excited. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional, but she just did that in front of the entire room. So, uh, that was cool. I mean, uh, she's got a nice sense of humor as well. And, uh, in between the panels for the devs and the talent, the voice actors and the models, uh, we had a little time to kill, you know, uh, basically the devs were signing stuff. Uh, Killer and Soze went ahead and played some console payday, to which they both hated. <laughs> to say the least, I mean, console is a very difficult... Controllers are very difficult to handle. And I think, uh, the most memorable part of the entire event was the talent panel. Basically, the voice actors and the models just taking questions, answering them, and it was it was pretty rowdy. Eric got pretty fucking hammered. Uh, you can see in some of the pictures, he's a little touchy-feely. And he was uh, very rowdy as well. But he definitely looked like he was having a lot of fun. Derek seems to be a bit more reserved. Uh, you know, he wasn't really quite so outspoken, but eh, it's nice to have a little bit of composure in the group. Ilya, on the other hand, never let go of his character. Like, he was always in the Vlad character. And I think one of the my favorite questions that he was asked was, Why do you hate Dimitri so much? And he's just like, I don't like Dim the name Dimitri! <laughs> and it's, I don't know, it's just... It was funny listening to these guys, you know, just say weird stuff. And, uh, you know, sometimes people would ask, You know, what's your favorite line? And then they would all say, like, you know, uh, their favorite lines. Derek was, uh, don't be dumb. And Chase was, eat that dirt! So it, it was fun hearing it live, hearing them say those lines. So that's pretty cool. And of course, uh, you know, Georgia also partook in this uh, little panel a bit as well, because, you know, she's now officially part of the, uh, the crew, or will be. Ooh, I'm particularly fond of this picture with Dallas. Or, not Dallas, Eric holding the phone and uh, looking real excited. He looks like he came in his pants. So after that, 
basically, they also did the same thing the devs did, which was signing stuff. And uh, that was pretty cool. Ooh, this is also a pretty nice picture. I think I, I probably showed this in the other video, but yeah, it's a picture of everyone holding up their masks, and you can see the talents in the back looking pretty nice. And uh, the next part after that was, you know, a bunch of chilling, uh, everybody just uh, hanging out. And then after that, we had the cosplay competition, which was very underwhelming, and I was actually very disappointed as well. You know, I when you think of a cosplay competition, you think everybody would line up, you know, go on the stage, show off, and then people would vote on it or something. But for this, uh, they kind of, uh, they kind of just said like, okay, well, everybody that cosplayed stand up or something, and then they stood up, and then... They pointed them out and they said, uh, alright, if you like these guys, cheer for them! And basically people cheered for whoever they liked. And it was really casual, uh, you know, they, they didn't really have any official nice voting or anything. It was also a little disappointing for me and Soze because we ended up cosplaying too, but as Almir. And, uh, you know, even if we, we actually did not expect to win anything, you know, like win the competition, but it still would have been funny just to go up there and like, And these two cosplayed as Almir! Ah! Or something like that. It was a little disappointing, but uh, it was still all in good fun. I mean, some of the cosplay was pretty good, like the the Hoxton breakout one, where uh, you have the Hoxton reborn, ma re reborn mask, and he's in the orange jumpsuit. Jacket, while relatively simple, still did a very good job. Uh, I think the Clover one was also very good as well. That mask was pretty well made. And, uh, yeah, that, so that's pretty much how the event went. Uh, that was all the stuff they had planned, really. Uh, they did a few giveaways of Xbox Ones and stuff. Actually, uh, one of my favorite pictures is also uh, one of Eric and Derek. They were giving away the Xbox One. They looked pretty, pretty excited. You know, Derek's pointing at someone, stuff like that. And yeah, pretty much afterward, it was just hanging out. Uh, by that time, you know, during the whole event, it started out really packed, and then, you know, less and less and less people were there. And by this time, it was, uh, not empty, but it was, uh, relatively sparse, so... It was actually nice, because at this point, you could one-on-one -on -one talk with, uh, some of the... Well, the voice actors and the models. Uh, I went ahead and got pictures with each of them. <laughs> and, uh, one of the first pictures I got was with Ilya. And, uh, if you look in the background right here, you can see someone holding up a Dallas mask. Hmm, I wonder who the hell that is. I turn around and Eric is fucking photobombing me. This guy, this guy is just great. You can see, uh, Ilya's... Really... <laughs> you can see his smile, he's just smirk at you. So yeah, I went ahead and also got a picture with, uh, Eric. Cool guy. Definitely seems like a fun guy to hang out with. Here is one with me and Killer, and we're with Simon Vickland, and uh, we wanted to get a picture because it's probably one of the last events we'll see him at, because, you know, he's becoming more, uh, he's trying to distance himself from Starbreeze and stuff, trying to make a name for himself. So, yeah, that's, uh, you know, good on Simon, and I really hope he does well in the future. Let's see, here's a picture with, uh, Georgia. Very awesome. Got to talk to her, too. Apparently, she has done a lot of the event work for Starbreeze so far, like The Walking Dead, uh, the last E3 event, and as well as this event. She does a lot of announcing and stuff, and uh, well, it's, it's nice to see that uh, she actually gets a bit more recognition now that she's being put in the game as well. And, of course, my man, Damien. Uh, he's, he's a big dude. Yeah, he's almost as big as me. That's, <laughs> that's an odd thing to say, but yeah. Uh, very awesome. He was, uh, probably the most casual and, uh, comfortable of the voice actors. Like, he was just really natural. And, uh, yeah, it's very awesome to hear him, uh, talk about the stuff. His game and his voice acting work. Here is a pretty interesting picture. We get to see both Derek and Eric playing the game itself. And, uh, well, <laughs> they may not have been the best at the game, but, you know... Uh, controllers are hard to use and stuff. Yeah, here's a picture with Derek. He, he does not look very happy. <laughs> Maybe I was smelly or something, I don't know. And, uh, of course, gotta have a few pics with Almir. Just rocking that glorious beard, one that I'll never be able to grow. Sad day! And, of course, uh, I also got a few other pictures of 
the stuff that they gave away at the event. You know, you guys saw it. The wristbands, the shirts, the masks, of course. A few little postcard papers. Uh, those were mostly just used for signing stuff. And they also gave away codes for the E3 masks, as well as a secret Payday Con mask, which... Mass bundle, which uh, at this point currently we have no idea what it is for. Ooh, ooh, this picture, this picture, all right, this picture looks really out of place. I mean, we look super casual. We got Damien and Eric, they're just dressed normally, and we look like we're at the airport. And that's because we are. We actually saw them at the airport. And it turns out that, uh, okay, so the, the thing is, when we went to Seattle, um, I live in California in the Bay Area. Uh, we actually took a flight down to LA first because I live in the Bay Area um, before going to Seattle. Uh, the flights were cheaper, but of course, you know, we have two flights instead. But, uh, you know, it's just something you have to deal with. It was cheaper. So, it turns out that uh, on the first flight to Seattle from LA, I actually noticed this really big black guy. And I was like, hey, so I was like, isn't that Damien? And then we're like, well, we're not sure. You know, we've never seen him in real life. And he's walking, boarding in the plane. And then we, we take a look and it's like, well, ah, we can't actually tell. So, you know, it was kind of a joke that uh, when we went to Paytacon, we would ask him if he had the same flight that we did. And then, lo and behold, on our way back, you know, we're at uh, Seattle going on our way to L.A. We see Damien sitting right there next to us in the terminal. <laughs> He was just sitting there, so we went ahead and, uh, you know, approached him, talked to him, and it turns out Eric was there as well, and they were both just chilling there. We had the exact same flight, which was pretty fucking awesome. So we just got a more chance to talk to them. It was pretty casual, and we, you know, Eric actually brought out a bag of peaches and grapes, and we shared them. It was the most random thing, you know, but it was it was really cool. And uh, something else that also happened was uh, before the flight actually took off, it turns out there was a huge delay, like a two-hour delay. Our flight was supposed to be at like two something ish, and then uh, they're like, "Oh well, uh, we gotta push back the flight till four o'clock." So Eric and Damien, they, you know, they said, "Oh well, we didn't have breakfast, so uh, we're actually gonna go and get some to eat. So uh, we'll see you guys later." And we're just like, "Okay, we'll see ya." And then we were just waiting by the uh, the gate. Pretty much just, you know, diddling with ourselves. And, uh, only after, like, an hour-ish that, that has passed, so it's, like, about three-ish, uh, it turns out, you know, okay, so whatever problems there were, it's okay now. You can board the plane. So everyone's boarding. Uh, for other reasons, me and Soze had to stay back a little because we had to talk with the, uh, the, uh, the gate agent because we had problems with our second flight back because, you know, we had concurrent flights. Uh, one from... Seattle to LA and then from LA to Oakland, but you know, we didn't we were gonna miss that other one after the delay in the first flight, so we had to go talk that out. And while we were waiting in line, I just noticed that, well, I don't know if Damien and Eric still have the same flight as we do, but they're not here yet, and everybody has boarded the plane. That's pretty bad. They should probably get here. So then I was joking with Sozak, ah, maybe I should send him a tweet. And then he said, you should do that! It's a good idea! So I was like, okay, okay! And then I, br I brought up my phone, and then I, <laughs> I fucking went on Twitter, uh, tried to find his profile. I have no idea how to use Twitter on my phone, so I was just like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Looking through, looking through. So I sent Damon a tweet, and this is what it said. If you're still on the same flight, it's boarding. <laughs> so, hopefully, I, I was thinking, hopefully he would see that and come back before the plane took off. Of course, you know, shortly after I said that, the lady over the intercom said, uh, Oh, if uh, Damien, Poitier, and Erica Berti are still here, uh, your flight is about to take off, or something like that. And, uh, yeah, they came back pretty shortly after that, but... I would like to believe that it was because of my tweet that they, they came back. You know, Damien even shot me a, a point and a smile and a nod. And I, I just felt so warm. And so I was like, yes! It was me! I did it! I brought them back! <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. It was it was a fun event. It was quite an adventure. I love talking to the guys and, uh, you know, it was overall just a really fun experience, in my opinion. I kind of hope they have something like this in the future. Maybe a little different. I hope I hope there was more, like event type things, you know, mostly this was uh, 
like kind of like a regular convention where you have a dev panel, maybe you know some voice voice actors and models there, and they just talk about stuff and they get asked questions. And most of the questions asked were pretty stupid, which is why I didn't bother mentioning it in the uh, previous video either, because well, you know, most is like, okay, well, where's safe house customization and. Uh, you know, why isn't chains in a pickle anymore? Or stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't I didn't take any videos, but I did take a lot of pictures. The uh, problem with DSLRs is video eats up a lot of memory as well as a lot of battery, and uh, I was trying to conserve both because in this event, you know, pretty much uh, I wanted to make sure I had enough battery and memory for the whole duration. Uh, Soze was supposed to bring a GoPro, but alas, he was not able to charge it. But yeah, that was the event, and I just wanted to share a few extra stories with you guys and go a bit deeper into the event, because, you know, I, I just show, shared a few pictures of it, and I was just hoping uh, maybe you guys were interested, and I would share some uh, stuff that happened. I mean, the thing at the airport was pretty fucking hilarious, you know? What are the chances that we have the exact same flight? And uh, I also forgot, forgot to mention that in the talent panel, when they were talking about it, uh, someone... You know, someone mentioned the chains in the pickle thing, and uh, to which Damien replied, Oh, why don't you ask Simon that? Because he's the one that voices Bane, and Bane's the one that actually says that line. But then he also chipped in saying that, Oh yeah, well, you guys didn't see it yesterday, but uh, I was wearing a pickle shirt. And fucking looking at this picture here, he's wearing the goddamn pickle shirt! Chains is in a pickle! He's in a goddamn pickle! Oh, it's the best. This is the best. Best fucking picture. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Anyway, that's all I got to say about this event. I took a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of extra pictures, too, that I didn't share here, either. And mostly I just had stuff in the gameplay as background stuff, and nothing really to pay attention to, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was super, super chill. Yeah, not very professional or anything. But yeah, if you guys stuck through the whole thing, you guys deserve a cookie. So, I will see you guys later. Maybe in the future. And, uh, yeah.